Back in December of 2014, Beale went from Air Force Base to movie set. During that time, critically acclaimed director Steven Spielberg filmed a portion of his now Academy Award-nominated film, Bridge of Spies. The movie's story follows James Donovan, a New York lawyer who helped negotiate the trade and release of Francis Gary Powers after his U-2 was shot down over the Soviet Union. To promote the release of the movie on DVD, Francis Gary Powers Jr. and Austin Stoll, the actor who played his father in the film, came on base to get another look at the shooting location and speak with members of the media. First off, uh, thank you guys for coming out here. It um, means a lot to us. And thank you for your service. Thank you. What did you guys think about shooting here on Beale and uh, as far as being here on the set uh, or being on an Air Force base? It's cold. It was, cold. <laughs> it was very cold up here. No, but uh, you know, you guys welcomed us with uh, with open arms and uh, it was such a pleasure to get to, to work with you all here and uh, being uh, an, an active Air Force base, you're getting to see the, the, the power of our armed services. This last time I was here uh, for the shooting of the movie, it was surreal to see the U-2, to see the vintage costumes, to see all of the items that the props people had put together that were accurate of that time period. Uh, and to have all the help from the military folks here at the base, just to open up the doors, to help out any way they could with the logistics behind the scenes, the planning, the hangar scenes, allowing Spielberg and the production crew to do what they had to do, it was just wonderful and very, very appreciated. Along with Stoll and Powers Jr., Beale's own Lieutenant Colonel Mike Gilmore, commander of the 99th Reconnaissance Squadron, also spoke with media representatives to highlight the U-2's modern capabilities, along with showing appreciation for the production crew's attention to detail. It's, it's really a tremendous opportunity to have DreamWorks come out here and put the level of effort into trying to actually tell that story and really be authentic in, uh, in the telling of that story. They very easily could have come out here, or not come out here at all, and then just done some very minor research on what the U-2 does and then put it into their film, but instead they spent a tremendous amount of time talking with the pilots, maintainers, the folks that take care of our, our full pressure suit, um, the intel analysts, and really painted that picture of what Beale Air Force Base is and what we do as a U-2 community. Um, so that was pretty special to have them come out here and, and tell that story. How do you think Austin did? Oh, Austin did great. I mean, oh my gosh, when I first <laughs> met him, I gave him a big bear hug. Hey, Dad, how's it going? I saw some of the facial expressions, especially in the courtroom scene. And I look at my dad in the photo, and I look at him in the photo. It looks identical. It looks very, very authentic. Very, very good acting, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Reporting from Beale Air Force Base, California, I'm Airman First Class, Benjamin Bugenig.